A good day, everyone. My name is Amna Begum, and I'm a columnist with the print. So I am going to talk about and discuss my next article I have written uh, for the print, which is about the Tariq Fata. Uh, I think Tariq Fata is a very well-known name already. He doesn't need any introduction from me. Um, a Pakistani-born Canadian author, free um, intellectual free thinker. So he has written a a few good books which should be read by everyone to know his scholarly work as well. So, but Tariq Fata was more known uh, for his Twitter persona or his stand um, over uh, um, various political and social issue rather than uh, mm. uh, his uh, scholarly work, which I find is a little sad in that uh, way because that work could... Um, affect Muslim society and uh, entire um, uh, society in general, like West or India, far better in far better nuanced sense rather than his Twitter persona. However, I have written this article uh, through the prism um, of an Indian Muslim, how as a progressive liberal Indian Muslim, I have been seeing his journey till now. So uh, when I first stumbled upon his work, it was uh, a, it was very shocking for me because uh, there was a certain information about the Islamic history which I have never came across being a part of Muslim community. So after that, I started reading, searching more about his work, and um, it was unconventional. So it uh, it um, started. Um, it started uh, initiating a different kind of uh, um, thought process. Uh, like, why don't we ask this question, being a, a Muslim? Why don't we introspect that, yeah, this point or this idea is right. Uh, we should indulge in these questions. And it could be right or wrong. We can just find the answer. Uh, but with the time, I also uh, saw that sometime his stand goes into too much personalized space or um, uh, kind of generalized Muslim way too much, way too much. Uh, apart from that, he wouldn't shy away even sharing uh, those stories and um, um, any information about the Muslim Indian Muslim community without verifying it. It could be fake um, a video or uh, it could be anything very controversial. So he was not very thoughtful in that sense. So I had my um, fair share of his, um, um, like uh, I have seen him from someone whom we could engage with, but have your critical view about him. Uh, the thing which um, I really liked about the Tariq Fata was his love for the India. And I learned you can be Indian even without being born in India. So that love for India and Indian culture was very impressive. But at the same time, I realized that it's very different to love uh, Indian culture and being a part of Indian society, being a stakeholder, living your life as an Indian Muslim, as a minority in, in India and going through the practicality of the ground reality. That's two very different thing. And he can never claim to know those realities because he was not uh, brought up here. So that's maybe that that is the why, that was the reason he was not very thoughtful before posting such a content because he doesn't understand what consequences this could bring for the society and both society were living together here um, in India. Um, However, even Muslims, com Muslim community have to understand even you don't like uh, criticism. Uh, and if you feel this is not only criticism, it is a kind of um, a way um, a generalized attack on you. Instead of hating someone and labeling them as a mutar, there's a far better way to approach it and indulge in the dialogue. So I can see that Indian Muslim community most of the time fail on that front. And the Tariq Fata is the prominent example of it. So instead of uh, going into dialogue with him, the most of Indian Muslims started hating him, labeling him, even to the extent where after his death, uh, quite a few um, um, uh, social media um, handle uh, was seen celebrating his death, which is 
outright very um, problematic so i have tried to um, address all those issues where um, i agreed with the tarik fata his ideas for example when he started asking question that why we should have a arabic name to be an indian muslim and it made sense to me i mean we should ask this kind of questions and should have a dialogue within the uh, our community however when it went um, it uh, went into a space where we started targeting uh, tamur name which was the name of um, son of saif ali khan and karina kapoor it started feeling like a very personal attack instead of an idea so i started i felt this is not a very right approach uh, to um, to discuss or address any issue still tarik fatah's legacy will be there a lot of people i believe did not agree with him entirely but still learn a few things from him so that would help uh, in a future muslim society overall uh, also uh, the one thing i would like to mention that i totally disagreed with the tarik pata that he acted exactly like the clergy when he started uh, distributing the patriotic certificate to indian muslim that is not the way you can't tell uh, any indian muslim that you are not patriotic enough because you have a different view rather than me uh, here i can see he played um, in the hand of uh, ultra nationalist and uh, the radical uh, and extremist section of the majority community so that was the one thing which i thought he acted the way uh, uh, exactly the same way the people he used to criticize to be that's all to know more please read my article thank you